better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. An antagonist doesn't have to be easy.
Whenever the chaos of man rises, the chaos of God intervenes. Pas Benoît Gidolard et sa collection de Ferrari Benny. It seems like you've got a bit of a handicap, but I'm still not holding back. 17! It's over!
Et nous voilà de retour. Vous, vous êtes toujours bien calé sur Radio 666, 99.1 FM si vous êtes dans la région de Caen. Sinon, bah, c'est www.radio666.com, hein, les heures de la galaxie. Alors, puisqu'on était avec un groupe français, un one man band, on va rester en France avec un one man band, c'est Midoran, 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 je sais pas trop comment on le prononce, mais je pense que c'est Midoran, qui fait partie du cercle mortuaire que je vous avez présenté un petit peu le cercle mortuaire à l'occasion de l'interview de Toupère il y a quelques, quelques semaines, voire même euh, un peu plus. Là, c'est extrait de leur deuxième démo. Alors, le cercle mortuaire, vraiment, c'est un collectif français, euh, black metal, assez euh, occulte, un petit peu caché, mais qui est vraiment bourré de groupes talentueux. Ce projet en fait évidemment partie des projets de talent je vous laisse découvrir la musique de, de Midoran black metal assez raw ambiante atmo assez envoûtant enfin moi je trouve que ce cercle mortuaire et les, les gens qui le composent sont euh, des, des, des personnes qu'il faut vraiment suivre tout de suite donc Midoran
makes you feel at home. Oh, Dad. Sick and tired of your pesky parents overdosing every day? <gasps> then you need the Fenalert Plus. The Fentalert Plus can detect traces of fentanyl in any item you place on it and give you readings with up to 41% accuracy. So you can pop, snort, and mainline with confidence knowing you're protected. Because nothing is more important than your health. <laughs> subject of tonight's telecast is the chaos of men and the chaos of God. Now, we will find that sacred scripture has a plethora of examples of both cases. If we take, for example, the days of Noah, in which the wickedness of man was great on the earth, we can see this relationship of chaos very clearly. Whenever the chaos of man rises, the chaos of God intervenes. And so, the righteous wrath of God fell upon humanity in the form of a flood that washed away the fetid atmosphere of sin that engulfed the earth. The same happened in the days of Abraham. He bargained with God to spare the two cities. This was for the sake of the righteous, of course. And so, after rescuing the righteous, Judgment fell over their heads in fiery rain. These stories, however, are not limited to sacred scripture alone. We can find similar cases through history, too. Political intrigues of the time made the Middle Ages an era crammed with plagues and pestilences, culminating in the Black Plague that ended the lives of 50 million people. A simple for those created in eternal life. An earthly life absent from righteous punishment is equal to unavoidable doom. Simply because he can see the bigger picture. But we are often the ones to forget this bigger picture. Namely, the infallibility of divine justice over all of creation. And that, friends, will be the real tragedy of the post-modern man. In the same way, 
a materialistic civilization fell in Rome for a spiritual festival of barbaric nations will take its place, bringing forth the crack of doom to our doorstep. Man's indifference towards the ticking clock of righteous retribution, far from diminishing its effects, will give birth to all kinds of unseen horrors that will make the heavens shake in anguish. But even the greatest weapon that our minds can come up with will pale in comparison to its heavenly counterpart. And so a new calamity will fall upon the shameless humanity of tomorrow to be greater than those of yesterday. And it won't be the rays of bipartisan division, nor the birth of organized terrorism, nor the destruction of secular monuments, not even the new plague or the explosions of disintegration but the inevitable reaction of divine justice, the chaos of God.